my game prediction for the Sweet 16 Boilermakers Volunteers game was mostly wrong because Volunteers didn't play a full game. They didn't defeat the Boilermakers in regulation. Instead, they lost in overtime. And so they didn't avoid overtime. They had to play in overtime and they lost in overtime. And also, they didn't outscore the Boilermakers in both the first and second half. Boilermakers ended up outscoring the Volunteers in the first half, 40-28, to and they played a great first half since obviously they were winning in the, since obviously they were leading in the first half, 40-28, to outscoring the Volunteers, and Volunteers uh, ended up playing, well, before they started playing great in the second half, the Boilermakers continued to play great in the second half because the game went from bad to worse. Boilermakers made it a joke, a laugher, an embarrassment, and it was looking bleak for the Volunteers. But the Volunteers, they didn't quit, they didn't give up, they continued to play. They were able to make the lead a narrow amount. They were able to tie the game, and they were able to take the lead. And then the game again changed. It became a great, dramatic, close game that involved lead changes, and it involved... Uh, it involved leave changes, and it involved um, ties, and this was also a half that the Volunteers end up getting. The only, th only part of my prediction I got right was the fact that the Volunteers outscoring the Boilermakers in the second half. They did. They scored enough points that, of course, that didn't matter because the Boilermakers scored enough points that they were able to send to for the game to remain tied and for the game to go into overtime. And this is an extremely frustrating. This is an extremely frustrating loss. Maybe the most frustrating loss I've ever seen for a Volunteers college basketball team, including in the big game, because they were leading in the final minute. They had an opportunity to actually win this game, and they were able to. They were able. They had the lead, including in the final minutes. And then they had to play defense, and Boilermakers were able to move the ball. It got blocked, and clearly it didn't go off. Clearly it wasn't touched by a Boilermaker, so Boilermakers were able to pass the ball in bounds. And then um, Boilermakers shot a three, and then there was instant replay, and it was clearly, from what I could see, there was no foul but for some reason the referee still decided not to change their minds and still decided to stick with their main or original call with it being a foul even though I saw no contact did the foul happen and the Boilermakers end up making up two of three shots and so the game goes into overtime because the Volunteers they didn't really have much time to get the ball to half court and get the timeout and then throw the ball inbounds and actually shoot the ball because when they did shoot the ball, time exp had expired. But even if even if time they still had some time and time didn't expire, it wouldn't have mattered because the shot didn't go in. So, but I was still, so that was extremely frustrating. The Volunteers, they snatched jaws, ugh, they snatched defeat from the jaws of victory, which happened at the absolute worst time ever. At the absolute worst time, and even worse than that, is the fact that they got outplayed in overtime. Boilermakers played great in overtime, and Volunteers, they never looked like they were actually going to get actually tie this game or actually win this game in overtime. And then when they finally did show any signs of life, it didn't matter because Boilermakers were by th by up by three possessions, and it was, if I recall right, it was in the final minute, so... It happened too. It happened too late, and this is the best team that the Tennessee Volunteers have ever had in a college basketball March Madness tournament. They really look like the. They reminded me a lot of the 2011-2012 terrific Kentucky Wildcats team that did win the college basketball championship, and because of that, this team had me highly optimistic that this was going to be finally the year that they actually, not only do they um, finally play in a Final Four for the first time ever, but they would also win the college basketball championship. And it's usually proven wrong. I was proven wrong with both of those because they ended up losing in overtime to the Boilermakers in the Sweet 16 game, 99-94, to which is why this is a gigantic disappointment. 
and I'm going to be wondering for the rest of my life, would the Volunteers have won the college basketball championship if they would have beaten the Boilermakers? Or what would have, because I was, because they really looked like a team that they could have, that would have uh, gone to the Final Four and also played in the college basketball championship and won the college basketball, played played in the college basketball championship game and won a college basketball championship. So no doubt this is the biggest, the greatest disappointment considering this is the best team as far as we go by records that they've ever had, including the fact that they were number one for multiple days during the regular season. I'm extremely proud of what they accomplished in the regular season and what they accomplished in the SEC tournament because even though they lost in the championship game, that's the far they got the farthest before losing. And also proud of not utterly proud, but still proud that they could actually get to the Sweet 16, but still extremely disappointed. So can't I could say I'm highly proud of this team because they've done what no other Tennessee Volunteers basketball team has ever done, but I'm also extremely disappointed because of the fact that they hugely underachieved with um, their season ending at Sweet at the Sweet 16 when it really looked like this was a team that was going to not just play in the college in the Final Four for the first time ever, but also win a college basketball championship, and it doesn't it didn't happen so. This is one of the Volunteers' greatest seasons in college basketball, including going by records, is a also one of the most disappointing because they end up losing the Sweet 16. 